Hi, Jim Van Zandt, one of the pastors here at Carlisle United Methodist Church with Sermon in Three Minutes. Thanks for tuning in today. You know, if you're trying to follow the will of God in your life, be a disciple of Jesus Christ, I don't have to tell you that it's not easy. It's difficult many times making decisions. Some of them are counter-cultural, uh, counter-intuitive to uh, the way our culture is going at times. And so with that comes opposition. Some of that opposition we expect in our lives, but often opposition comes from places we don't expect. That happened in Nehemiah back in the Old Testament. He's charged with the rebuilding project uh, of the wall and some of the buildings uh, in the New Jerusalem that they'll be building after the, after the Babylonian captivity. He expects opposition from those outside, those who are not Israelites, those who don't follow uh, God. One of them is named Sanballat. Now Sanballat was a government official under King's Artaxerxes. The king was in favor of the project, so Sanballat has to carry out the king's wishes, but he makes it very public that he doesn't want anything to be built to the glory of the God of the Israelites, Yahweh. Yet there's some other opposition that Nehemiah doesn't expect, and it comes from within. It comes from a man named Tobiah. He's an Israelite. And his argument uh, moves uh, like this. He's always in opposition, but it starts with that the project shouldn't be done. And then when he sees that he isn't making any progress with his argument, he then moves to, it can't be done. Uh, and then when he sees that that doesn't bring any fruit, he moves his argument to, well, it's not being done the way I would have liked it to be done. He's consistent in his opposition. What changes is the reason for his opposition. We'll expect that in our lives, too, in discipleship. Even from some people that we love won't understand the decisions we make. And their opposition may remain steadfast, but the reasons for their opposition may change. What are we to do? Jesus says, love them. May not like it, but we're to love them. That means to do loving acts, regardless of even some of the attacks that may come our way. You know, God says we're in a world that is not his world yet, uh, that there is an evil force that's out there trying to work counter to the will and way of God. But he's empowered us with God's Holy Spirit and that we can take our faith, hope, and trust, and we know a greater reward and a greater place waits for us all. Thanks for turning in for Sermon in Three Minutes. If you're facing opposition in your life because you're trying to follow the ways of God, be a disciple of Jesus Christ. Rest assured you're in good company, and rest assured God has His Spirit over you. Have a great day. Bye now.